Now, I've been talking for a while about how MMA, WMMA, lacks black American female fighters. And I'll point that out because I suspect they would bring different gifts or advantages, different styles, right? Different approach to fights. And I feel like I saw a glimpse of that here in this fight. I believe Anna Victoria was the one touted as the potential prospect. Her opponent was Quinn Williams, and her opponent won the fight. And you should see how Invicta titled the video that they just uploaded a few minutes ago. This is Quinn Williams. Uh, again, if you, I don't know how many people ever looked at it. There's not that many black American females in MMA. But there are plenty, plenty of black American males in the UFC and all MMA organizations for the most part. Um, but they just uploaded the, the fight a few minutes ago. Now look how they titled it. Am amateur champ Anna Victoria gets tested by Quinn Williams. So you can tell just by the title that they had some investment in Anna Victoria. And the way they phrased it, I was watching the fight expecting Anna Victoria to win. I'm like, okay, uh, prospect. Did they get a lot of hopes for? Got tested, but she still won the fight. She didn't win the fight. Anna Victoria didn't win the fight. She got beaten up. And she lost officially. But like I always say, it's the way that you lose is what mattered to me. I don't care if you win or lose. How did you win or lose? And she was getting beaten up and muscled around, which is unusual. Which is something that I believe black American females, for those who don't know I'm black American, the black American females could bring it to the game. They move different. Uh, black American athletes have always been well known to move different. Tend to bring, uh, you know, a different, different styles into the game. Or different gifts. And in this case, physical strength. Black women, all black women, are born with, natu with more natural muscles than all other groups of women. So if they were to like strength, really strength train and become an MMA fighter, they would have an advantage in physical strength similar to the Brazilian. And like you see in this fight, she was much stronger than the Brazilian fighter. It was like, it was so bad. By the third round, Quinn Williams was like horse playing. Right? Sort of taunting her, you see? With her hands, sort of like Ali or who used to do that? Sugar Ray Leonard. She was doing a Sugar Ray Leonard impersonation in there by the third round. And the poor Brazilian girl, she's taller, so she's slimmer, but she's weaker. She was everything. Every advantage position Anna had on the mat, she lost it almost immediately. No matter what she did, Williams was able to get out of it. And Williams was usually the fighter on top on top and she knows she's strong that's another thing it's different when fighters don't really know their own strength she knows her own strength that's the scarier part that means she's going to be more explosive with it more aggressive with it and it's good to know your own strength she also almost submitted her so yeah she the one look dangerous i'm not sure it seems like anna victoria was the one touted because this was her pro de tape debut, Anna Victoria. Um, Quinn Williams has already lost as a professional. So maybe they're like, okay, well, we'll, we'll hype up Victoria. But no, nah, she got beaten up. And this was 115. If she continues to beat girls up, 
I expect UFC to send her a contract because of her strength and the way she fight. She fight like a bully. That's rare with the women. Look like she got some power. Uh, so, yeah. Quinn Williams looked good to me. We'll see what both of, the, of them can do. Because, again, this was just the other girl's debut. But there, there was a huge gap in this fight. This fight was so one-sided. If they fought 10 times, I would expect Quinn Williams to win all 10 times. So, we'll see what happens. 